Hey guys, this is Ryan, and uh, this is kind of an odd video, and uh, this kind of video I, I hope to, uh, well I hope to never make again really. Um, it's been a really odd week for me. Uh, if anybody follows me on Twitter, uh, you, you kind of have an idea of what's going on. But uh, we, we had a huge snowstorm here in Kansas City, and uh, the power got knocked out, so that like, you know, really threw off my video schedule. And uh, and on top of that, I um, I found out that a good friend of mine was actually shot and killed uh, Saturday night. We'll never really know the all the details of what happened, but he was um, he was he was hanging out with a friend that was an ex marine, and he was having a lot of problems adjusting back to civilian life, and so at some point. Saturday night, Kyle decided to, uh, he had a flat tire on his bike, so he went out to fix his flat tire, this is like 2 o'clock in the morning, and um, he was out fixing his tire, and this guy uh, came out and shot Kyle in the back, and uh, we'll, we'll never know why, because uh, the guy then walked over to Kyle's body, and then he killed himself, and... Um, you know, it's like, I just, I just want to be, I just want to be like so mad at this guy, you know, I just, I just want to be furious and, you know, you can look at it and say, well, maybe he thought that somebody was trying to steal Kyle's bike and, uh, and that's why he did it. Um, he was, you know, just wasn't thinking and just saw the guy and, and pulled the trigger and so maybe it was an accident, maybe it wasn't. We'll we'll never really know. And I, I and I I really don't care if it was an accident. I mean, I am just I just want to be so so mad at this guy. Um because, you know, Kyle Kyle was a really really special guy. He was uh he was kind of he was the kind of guy that just everybody he met was his friend. And he had this way of Finding people that needed a friend, you know. I mean, it's, it sounds it sounds stupid. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, but he would just just find these people that, for whatever reason, they needed they needed a friend, and not like some some bullshit. Hey, I'm gonna pretend to listen to you and care. Like, no, I mean, Kyle really was these friends, and he made lasting relationships with these people. And he would just find somebody, and they'd be friends, you know, for a long time, and they'd hang out, and he'd invite them places. And then, kind of, once they got back on their feet, then he would kind of just go find somebody else. And, and like, and I know that's why he was hanging out with this guy, because this guy needed help. And Kyle, just the kind of person he was, he was like, I, I need to help this guy, because, you know, he, he needs someone. And, and I, I can, maybe I can fix it, I don't know, and... So I'm I'm just I'm just so mad that he this guy took away so much happiness that Kyle would have brought to other people in his lifetime. And it's just and so I I really don't give a shit if it was a mistake. You know, I mean that's he he robbed a lot of people of of a lot of happiness. And Kyle was the kind of guy that he was he was always laughing, he was always having a great time, and he made everybody else laugh, he made sure everybody else was involved. Just he was just that kind of guy that you just wanted to be around because he was so much fun. I remember uh when <laughs> so kind of a, a funny story that I remember from Kyle was uh we were back in high school and around lunchtime or so we we all decided we were we were going to skip class for the rest of the day. And this was like in like in March or April. So it was kind of kind of springtime. So it was it was like it was a really nice day. That's why we all skipped out. And it was like it was like 50ish degrees or so. And for those of you that are are not in America, that's like I think that's like 10 degrees Celsius right around there. And anyway, so we all decide to we're going to go what what we called cliff jumping. We had a lake in our town. And it wasn't like a crazy cliff or anything, but I mean, it was still a pretty good drop. So we go out there and we do it. And, uh, you know, even though it's 
50 degrees outside, the water was freezing. The water was so cold. Oh my god. And so we all jump in. And then we climb back up onto the rock, and we're just kind of like laying out in the sun, drying off a little bit. And uh, and so we all get dried off, and we're all going to head back to our cars. And one of my other buddies looked down into the lake, and he goes, Hey, is that somebody's wallet down in the water? <laughs> and everybody checked to see if they had their wallet. And as soon as like each person knew they had theirs, we immediately looked at Kyle, because we just knew it was Kyle's. And Kyle was just standing there with his head down. And I don't even think Kyle looked. Like he Kyle just knew that that was gonna be his wallet. So Kyle had to jump back in to the freezing cold water to get his wallet. And uh, <laughs> we were all just up there just dying. We were laughing so hard. I mean, and it's it's so weird because like I keep I keep going to his Facebook page, just expecting him to like write something, you know, and just be like, "Hey guys, I'm all right," and, uh, and it's just really hard for me to wrap my head around that something like this would happen to that good of a person. I mean, there are so many terrible people in this world, and then this has to happen to somebody that was so good and every time I go to his Facebook page <laughs> one of one of his his uh, last comments was uh, it's too bad Joe Paterno died he would have made a great Pope <laughs> uh, he would have made a great Pope for the for those that don't get it, that is a child abuse cover up joke. I mean, yeah, Kyle. Kyle always had a way of just just everything that guy said made me laugh. I remember the last time I saw him was uh, this last summer, at a baseball game of all places. Just completely randomly ran into him, and uh, he was so happy, and just just laughing at everything and just just having a great time just being himself and I guess that'll probably be the probably be the memory that sticks with me for a long time anyway if uh, if you made it this far thank you thanks for listening I don't even know why I really made this video probably just uh, just to help me deal with it I guess I don't know. I just felt like I needed to do something. Anyway. Um, yeah, so if you made it this far, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, and I guess that'll do it. So thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you guys.